the feedback from these shots, shot times, look, that's a full bar, right? And the full bar says late, like literally just dead late. And then he comes back and shoots a bounce back. And then off of the bounce back, it says slightly late. I didn't choose. We Don't get it confused from working, but homie, I still murky. Come on. Good morning out there, 2K Land, man. Check this out. As always, full disclosure, man. It, here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons, 10.5 thousand big views last video 660 likes man y'all got they like me they really like me ever since we hit 100k you guys have been not only showing up but showing out i need y'all to keep doing that man we want to stay in that 10k area all year long we got lockdown university coming we got uh jump shot tutorials and videos and badge videos and all of that coming man we got raising with randoms coming but right now we just having too much fun and y'all are having fun on that like button check it out 4.7 thousand views on the podcast 10k on that mike wong video look 54 and 28 respectively on on a couple of other videos last week man listen keep doing what y'all doing i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing and like i always say we got to get to 200 likes within the first 1500 views or it won't send it out to everybody and we can't grow and we can't go to the moon it's like y'all trying to make sure we do man but anyway starting the video off with the same way we always started off with the noti game wall of fame man y'all come through say what's up first any of that man we always honor you guys because you all are the lifeblood of the channel and uh, the dude says, hey, back at work, watching again, man. Hey, that's what Optimus said. And they say, hey, you the best. They said, no, you the best, man. Keep uh, keep making these bangers. And then, you know, we got some of uh, the top comments from last time. We always try to read these and show people. Hey, man, one person says, see, that's why I was waiting to make my lock. I knew they were going to do some mess with steals. And they are going to mess with steals. They are going to bluff, un bluff unpluckable. They're going to do all of that stuff, man. I hate that that's the case. But it may be a necessary evil. And that's why when I was talking about the things, I was talking about the trade-off. Because if they, if they have to do anything, let us get bumpier and let us get more interceptions. And then they can just about turn the steals off, the plucks off. But I also understand when somebody comes and dribbles ignorantly in your face, we should be able to take the ball, man. And that's most of the 2K community. They don't know how to adapt. But we're going to talk about all that in one second, man. Hey, hey, loving the video. But do you have to speak on the defensive side of the ball? I'm loving it. And he just says, I hope they don't change or buff the offense. This is why the last few games have not been good. Making cheesy defensive, uh, making cheesy defense available, but not needing, uh, not needing to use it, uh, not needing to use IQ. Don't change anything just use iq to adapt i agree with that man and uh we're gonna talk about all that in one and more man but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below y'all know we're trying to go again to the moon alice and if nobody told y'all this today man y'all my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all now if you know the intro say it with me yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ coming to you live with another video man starting this thing off like we always start my boy yo boy that boy laker fan hey he just says man i'm getting bad shot selection on open standing dunk meter if i miss if i miss if i miss it by the way so add that to your encyclopedia of understanding bad shot selection appearances not gonna lie to y'all man a lot of people don't understand the bad shot selection and all of that stuff i really don't understand it sometimes you take a wide open shot it'll say bad shot selection maybe it's because you're too far away from the rim other times you'll take um a contested shot it'll be like good shot selection it'll be like slightly contested but you you know whether you hit it or not it'll be like good shot selection i don't truly understand it but hey a lot of people um you know they, they're, they're reporting the same thing man and we, we're gonna talk about shooting we're gonna talk about defense we're gonna talk about a lot of things in this video uh also man i'm a little bit late with the video today man i was up watching that coach prime um uh, the colorado buffaloes play colorado state man great game uh went to them went two overtimes uh, and and discipline just worn out man i'm not gonna lie to y'all i talk about i mean more de more in depth about that on my other channel man but hey on to the next one badgie plug it my boy badgie plug it he says in my last video i said don't make shooting easier and there was a good amount of people disagreeing with me so i'll explain what i think you should do i mean uh what what i think shooting should not uh be easier below get better one person says skill cap 
at skill gap and then our uh, quote says hey badge badge i was complaining low-key about the shooting but after playing and making my rebirth center uh with only a 78 three ball i realized it's not even the same it's uh not even this uh it's not even the game it's just you because i can shoot with my big perfectly fine i just think you gotta find the right build for you and see what works and i absolutely agree with that man like you gotta find the right build the right jump shot the right all of this stuff there are also some ancillary things that you need to be cognizant of and i'm gonna talk about all of that in the video that i'm going to drop later on today on shooting secrets how to improve your shooting how to get back you know get get up there the things that you might not know that are uh, impacting you as far as shooting goes man you might be you might be impacting and you don't even know um that there's some things you can change we're gonna be putting some secrets out there and i'm gonna be linking that to a bear the beast video because he goes more in depth as well but this is something that you can't stop a hey, tough says jump shot timing was perfect from uh from lunch till like the 13th i believe and tough been chicken i'm not gonna lie that boy tough been chicken i say that boy tough been chicken. <laughs> so if he's saying something there's got to be something's got to be wrong with it man hey uh around to the 13th i believe if i'm not mistaken it was the 11th but hey, i digress uh please 2k go back to how it was i literally couldn't miss uh if this if if they want to leave shooting slumps in the game fine but push feels like early and uh feels like early and set point doesn't feel like early and i told y'all that man i said the same exact thing that he said but y'all said i was bugging the other day i said listen uh early you had very early i said um it seems like they moved them over or they did something because with my jump shot i had it on set point and then it changed and then uh i put it on uh jump and then it was norm it was what it was then a couple of days later it's changed back because my player was you know stopped dropping down and doing stuff so it was weird man um and some things i've been saying but like this right here i don't know how you correct this though like the feedback from these shots shot times look that's a full bar right and the full bar says late like literally just dead late and then he comes back and shoots a bounce back and then off of the bounce back it says slightly late now this is something that has been in 2k for a long time it's like yeah we don't know how that bar how one is a full bar and it's just straight up late and uh you know the other one is strike slightly slightly late and then he says even very late doesn't feel like very late uh every release feels like a mixture of early and very early and that's something that we talked about in our podcast if you did not watch that podcast you need to go back and check it out brute myself all city that's the uh, that's the big podcast that we did and what we were talking about is how these things are so close together that i feel like if they make any changes then it's, it's just it, it's not it doesn't feel like it used to feel so you have to change your shots up and and kind of adjust accordingly man it, it's it's just weird man and then you have the other extreme on this right here where you got people uh like ja says um they, they're hitting 67 percent covered fade uh with christmas tape so trade up splash down uh no way this guy just hit a 70 a 67 covered fade with christmas take and we're gonna see this one more time not only did he not have any takeover but he had christmas take which means that he's missed quite a few shots and is contested he hit the shot fading out of bounds mike did say that there is a pure green window and that you would indeed be able to hit contested shots but i just have to believe in my heart of hearts that's not what they meant when they that's not what they intended when they put that pure green window in the game but when you do things like that this is what you get you got to deal with it he's not going to hit that all game and the score uh yeah that, that that score is pretty much out of hand anyway so like i mean it ain't like he's it's not like he's gonna it's gonna impact the game it's at the end of the game you're up 20 points uh you know whatever man it, i mean i know it is crazy to see something like that but uh, it's not gonna happen the whole game and i don't know if it'll happen often enough for us to be even worried about it but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment up next brick wall is like six uh, 2k 17 screens this was another thing that uh, uh j a bridge four said man look at this day boom draymond screen get down to the ground new y'all let me know what y'all know there <laughs> get down to the ground new that joint is crazy hopefully people don't understand the screen the screens have been crazy the last couple of games but we haven't it's the last couple of games like my boy t said they haven't been screen games so it is what it is also hey one person says uh this is another thing with jay bridge for he says hey man 2k sold crossplay uh the, the crossplay height just week one 
and people are turning cross play off. I don't understand why people are turning cross play off. I think it's an awesome feature. And then uh, Jay says cross play is actually cross play is actually such a great feature. Still today, I was able to run with two people that I haven't been able to run to run with before, and that's crazy, man. You're absolutely right. And uh, is crossplay a flop? No, it's not. I don't even understand how this is this close, man. I'm gonna tell you what, man. If you think that crossplay is a flop, you must ain't got no friends in life or something is going on, my dog. Because I've had need my boy Nino, my boy Nino, he bought the game again so we could we be able to play together. Uh, T, I haven't been able to play with them on my main bill in like years since 2k20 i would always come over and play but i would have to play on a, a, a you know a lesser bill that wasn't grinded out and all of that this year we're able to play with it doesn't matter who there is anybody anytime anywhere i don't understand how that how that's that close and it just shows you that the 2k community will literally complain about anything you give them exactly what they want you give them uh rick with uh squats and no squats they complain about they, they, they. <laughs> what am i gonna do if i go get if i just got two people now i, I got all these teams and then i can't even quit because i gotta get a 30 minute uh break if i do shut the fuck up shut the fuck up like hard they say man y'all begged for that feature we kept telling y'all it was already implemented in the game it was a bad idea as y'all were asking for it because if a squad is a squad whether it's two three four or it's a full squad you should have asked for fives or you should have just said hey if you got five make them force them to go to pro that's what you should have asked for i don't think they should do that but that's what y'all should have asked for what y'all asked for we just want squads and no squads because i'm tired again <laughs> we just want squads and no squads because i'm tired of i'm tired of going against full teams running zone can y'all patch zone how stupid do you sound patch zone and they did it though they did patch zone to to some degree because you definitely can't get them steals like you used to man but we're gonna talk about how you can get those steals in one second this right here might have been the silliest idea in 2k history though uh that boy uh gv he was out there on a winning streak and uh you know he just got he didn't move while he was on the spot nobody wanted to pull up and uh yeah they, they gave him this right here i hope he didn't get no 30 minute ban after this man he's going crazy i don't care about it i'm not looking at it i'm not listening to it he's throwing chairs he's doing all of that stuff um yeah i i really don't care about all that all the theatrics and the antics we know that he's gonna be extra for no reason like that's just what he does but uh and i ain't mad at it i mean it works for him clearly but yeah I'm, it, it's sunday morning i got stuff to do i'm not about to get into all of that man it, it, it is what it is up next we got wolf and Wolf says, hey, did you notice you can get passing lane steals with the right stick? I thought I did, no. But he says, hey, in NBA 2K24, you, uh, when you're trying to get a passing lane steal, flick the stick, right stick up instead of pressing square. Using the right stick, uh, using the right stick will have a slightly higher chance of uh, success in the lane or what have you. He said, just be careful when trying to use the right stick steal close to the ball handler because sometimes it may get a hands up lunge instead of a uh if, if no pass is thrown and then it just says uh i highly recommend you to use the right stick up uh when trying to get a lane when trying to steal outlet passes or if you're 100 percent certain a pass is coming your way and then so somebody asked so can you flick the stick uh do you flick the stick toward the ball because that's what i was doing i thought i knew what i was doing and then he says nope flicking the right stick up is the only is only for passing lane steals uh regular on ball steals you use the right and the left for the right stick ripper so i thought i was doing it correctly i was doing it incorrectly i'm gonna try this out later and then we'll see what happens last but not least man this is insane right here bro this dude i don't know who chuka is he might be somebody he said man it's it's real sad to see 2k devs talking like this to top creators the community is giving you feedback on something uh that's broken and the response is nah the community buys the game care about uh, care about their opinion uh, not a good look for you i'm gonna preface this with i'm on zach timmerman's side man because of who's involved in this and you ain't respecting him and i'm big on respect you don't respect me as a man you can you can expect to be i know y'all never seen this side, side of me before but if you disrespect me as a man you can expect to be disrespected and or at the vet and if i'm at work you're probably gonna get the disrespect but you're gonna get it in a very respectful way i don't play that bullshit talking to me any type of way you can do whatever you want to I, I i you don't talk to me any kind of way and everybody that i work with knows that and they be kind of kind of you know how they y'all know how it is because y'all probably the same way they be kind of tiptoeing around you be like bro what you tiptoeing around me for somebody told them when people tiptoe around you for no reason and you never even talk to them somebody at your job told them that that dude over there don't take no shit, period you can't talk to him any kind of way you can't come in him any kind of way and he'll check you real quick 
that's how I am. So Zach, you was much better than me on this, but we gonna talk about it right here because I'm big on respect. You ain't gonna disrespect me and I don't think you should disrespect nobody else. But anyway, um, so this whole thing was, hey, he says, uh, Nadex, he started off with my stuff is bronze again, what the F? And then, so he says, uh, look, looks like you stopped using uh, stop using this frequently because he can go in and look at it on the back end. It looks like you stopped using this as frequently for a long time, making one shot, one every few games ain't going to get you past bronze. He's just letting you know you're not going to get past bronze. And he said, turn this down. This, this is what they come with the disrespect and then you, you expect to be respected once you disrespect somebody. Uh, he did better than me. I'm not going to lie to you. Turn that dumb A feature off. Uh, no one wants, no one wants to lose badges for no reason. L freaking devs once again do a better job now do you think you do you think that you deserve to be respected after talking to anybody in that manner you certainly wouldn't talk to that man in his face like that and i mean if you would it might be some furniture moving in there i don't know what's gonna go on but i'm gonna tell you like this you ain't gonna talk to me like that in my face and, and think that you're gonna get a, a, a amicable response you're absolutely insane and that's just what it is and so he just says nah he did better than me saying nah and then he says hope you get fired bum a dev what so so this is what we saying like this is why i say y'all 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 are really fucking delusional but hey it is what it is coming back he says hey if if you need tips on how to on how to shoot well enough to keep limiting this let me know sounds like the struggle is real and the, and chuka is saying that that what zach is saying is crazy i don't know how delusional y'all are in this 2k community but the, i saw one person talking crazy in this and it went zach so I'm just gonna tell you that right now. You don't talk to people like that and think that you're gonna get an amicable response, bro. It is what it is. I know that's part of Nate's whole stick. It's part of his character. It's part of whatever it is. But it, I mean, that's that's just that's that's not a good look, man. You're not gonna get an amicable response talking to people in any kind of way. And the fact that you think that you are is just crazily in you just crazy entitled. I don't know what type of life y'all live outside of this whole 2k thing but y'all must never come outside and i've been meaning to say this for a long time y'all got so many people got so many fans they talk to people crazy and they they really must never come outside because i'm gonna tell you something i only got a hundred thousand subs i can't hardly go nowhere without somebody recognizing me and saying hey man don't you make 2k videos don't you do this don't you do that and you know what i'm thinking every time i see that i'm glad i ain't talked to that person crazy because they really would have had the drop on me and it wouldn't have been nothing i could have done if i had talked to him crazy and he was feeling some type of way so like i said if y'all talking to people crazy like that on the internet y'all must really never go outside bro i don't know it is what it is but like i said that's part of his stick that's part of his whole thing he probably frustrated and all of that but you don't talk to people like that and think that you're gonna get an amicable response I would have said you and then just just let it ride like that but it is what it is oh i might have just been like shut the fuck up shut the fuck. <laughs> it is what it is man do what you want to do do what you want to do be who you want to be but just realize that everybody out here is grown men you don't talk to grown men like that and think you're gonna get an amicable response that's all i can tell you man let me know what y'all think now and the fact that chuka is saying that Zach is wrong is insane. Like go do all that stuff and then play victim. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't rock with that. But that's the 2K community. Do all this stuff, talk all the big trash, do this, and then turn around and play victim, man. I mean, I don't, I don't rock with that. I don't rock with disrespect. I don't rock with playing victim. I say, hey, ultimate accountability. Everything that's going on is because of you. Even though that's not true, you treat it as such, and you'll be a lot better off. Anyway, let me know what y'all think now in the comment section. Am I wrong on that? Let's get 1,500 likes in the first. I mean, 200 likes in the first 1,500 views. And if y'all like t-shirts and stuff, man, get your tees in a breeze. When you're rocking with breeze tees, man, we got a lot of stuff. That Colorado game was is sensational. But just go over there and check it out. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.